So now, due to the recent airstrikes on Yemen by the United States and the United Kingdom, the U.S. officials are now anticipating a fierce retaliation on the United States. This could be on troops abroad, but also the concern is that we could see attacks here on U.S. soil. So I'm going to break down what's going on, what just happened last night, which was breaking news. I brought this to you yesterday and told you that the United States and United Kingdom have decided to retaliate against the Yemen Houthis. They attacked more than 60 targets, and now the United States and the United Kingdom are looked at as a potential target. So I'm going to break down what's going on in just a moment. All I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So something that much of the world has been waiting for has finally happened. The United States and the United Kingdom finally said, that's enough. We have had enough of the Yemen Houthis attacking shipping vessels in the Red Sea. And so we decided to do something about it. Now, some Pentagon officials believe it was, a, it was somewhat too late and it was too little, but at least we did something at that time. Here's what happened, okay? The United States and Britain, we launched a strike against the Houthi rebel targets in Yemen. It says the Iran-backed militants who say their actions are aimed at supporting Hamas vowed retaliation and said the attacks had taken the lives of at least three fighters at multiple rebel-held sites. Okay. What we know is that Hamas has attacked the United States repeatedly or actually the houthis have attacked the united states and other shipping vessels repeatedly this is just the the houthi attacks in the red sea since november 19th it's not that long ago okay this is just some of them now why is this important well it's important because even though the yemen houthis were targeting ships in the red sea first those ships were not targeting the Yemen Houthis. But Yemen, the Yemen Houthis have vowed that they are supporting Hamas. And they were only supposed to attack the ships that were going to Israel. That was it. Just the ships going to and from Israel. Well, the problem is they started attacking every single ship going through the Red Sea. That was where things really escalated. And that's what the United States has been concerned with is that these Iranian-backed proxies were going to escalate the war between Israel and Hamas. That's exactly what happened. Well, here's what we know at this time. Because the United States attacked, guess what? The Houthi rebels leader threatened earlier that a U.S. strike would only make the group launch fiercer attacks in the Red Sea. So, what do we anticipate is going to happen moving forward? Well, the first thing is more fierce attacks. That's the first thing that's going to happen. And that would happen in the Red Sea. So what we know, though, is that this is not the only concern. This is a concern. But according to U.S. officials, this is not the highest concern. This is the highest concern. We now have American intel that uh, officials are warning of a risk of Hezbollah attacking the United States. What they're saying right now is Hezbollah has more capabilities to strike inside the US than other terrorist groups, like, you know, what it says right there. Now, the only reason I don't say it is because that's one of the things that gets the videos pulled down. All right? That's one of the, the concerns right now is how do they have more capabilities than any other group? Well, they're, they're funded by Iran. That's the concern. So what we know is that the Houthis, their capabilities have been diminished because of these attacks on uh, from the United States and the United Kingdom just the other day. But just because their, their uh, abilities, their capabilities have been diminished doesn't mean they're going to stop. And according to uh, multiple officials, they say they do not attack, they do not attempt, uh, expect attacks are going to stop. What they expect 
is attacks are only going to increase and potentially an attack on US soil. This is one of the, the threats, okay? Now, what we have known over the past you know, few years is that our open border policy was very concerning. And it's concerning because we have many threats around us. We have threats of just people coming in from other countries that we, we don't know. We have a threat because we are supporting Ukraine and Russia is attacking Ukraine. We have threats because we're supporting Israel and many people across the world say, why are we supporting Israel when the, the, real, uh, the real issue is Israel is taking the lives of civilians in Gaza? Well, we continue to support Israel. And so that's the issue is there's so many different issues around the world. And the United States is part of many of these. And when one, which just happened, is the United States has a has a na has a navy ship, has a couple you know ships in the Red Sea to uh, protect shipping vessels. Well, guess what? Iran doesn't like that. Iran does not like the fact that the United States is putting ourselves in this conflict in the Middle East. Why are we even there? And that's one of the reasons why Iran is more than uh, you know happy if. Hezbollah or the Houthis attack the United States. So here's what experts believe. Experts now believe because of this attack from the United States and the United Kingdom just yesterday, uh, experts believe that uh, in the United States, there's a higher risk of a potential terror attack. They say because right now it only takes one person to put something into place and there is more than just one person that is connected to Hezbollah uh, or these Iranian uh, militants in the United States. We have seen them in the United States before. We know they are here, but we haven't done anything about it. So what happens next? Well, here's where things are at right now. According to experts, they say the Houthis and Hezbollah and Iran are not going to stop because of this one attack. They have vowed for retaliation. That's what we, we know is coming. So, they say, if anything, uh, this attack is only going to increase chances of another attack against U.S. troops or on U.S. soil. Says the United States and United Kingdom damaged the Houthis' abilities to continue to attack shipping vessels in the Red Sea, but this is far from over. Iran has the ability to continue this fight, and they will. So, many believe Iran will not take this lightly, that Iran is going to sit back and wait. They will retaliate on the United States in some way and the United Kingdom. We do not know exactly how that's going to be or what, but what they are saying is that Hezbollah is only going to pick up the intensity with the attacks on Israel or Hezbollah is going to attack the United States. That's likely what's going to happen. The Yemen Houthis don't really have the ability to attack the United States on U.S. soil. Hezbollah does. Hezbollah has been around for years. And that is what we are now anticipating, unfortunately, is that another attack on U.S. soil is going to occur. And this is something that we didn't start, but we somewhat provoked it by attacking the Yemen Houthis. Now, the only other option, though, just to put this out there, according to experts, the only other option was for the United States to sit back and let our allies take care of the Red Sea. Unfortunately, that wasn't going to happen. It was going to mean the United States needed to jump in. That's what we did. And so now this is the hand that we've been dealt to expect an attack against the United States at some point. So that's where we're at at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on and share all the latest news and updates, but that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.